going on guys as you can tell by the title of the video got us a new toy to play with before we get into opening this i do want to give a big thanks to steve over at boondockers and big rock firearms for hooking this up for me so i can get it and play with it for a little while and show it to you guys what we have obviously springfield armory let's see hellcat Inside the box, you get normal lock and brush and chamber flag, and manual. Get that up. Get that out of the way. In the box, well, in the zippered pouch that it comes in, you get the gun and two mags. You get a 11 rounder. And the other one, I believe, is a 13. Yep, 13 rounds. The 11 sits a little flatter than the other one. It's kind of an extended. Grip feels good on it. They feel good on either one. This one does extend out a little bit further. But you can see nice stippling on the mags. As well as on the gun, got stippling all the way around. Here, and you got the finger pads here. This is the Springfield Hellcat, 9mm. The factory sights on the gun are pretty awesome. You get that U notch in the back, and then a super bright dot up in the front. And we did get a red dot gentleman wanted a red dot installed on it this is the sig romeo zero it it seems pretty nice uh when we did get it though tried to install it and the screws wouldn't snug down on it pulled them out and got to do a little check in the screws that come with it are a little bit too long for the to go on the hellcats so we piled them down a little bit and loctited them they work just fine it's rock solid on there couple things I dislike about the site. One, it's polymer. It's not metal. It is plastic. The other thing is the off and on switch is a pain to get to. You see up inside underneath the hood, that little button right there, that's your off and on switch. It's also your brightness control. Let's see. Push and hold it. And yeah, you can, it's on. That's on the lowest setting right now, but you have to stick your finger in here and push it. Every time you push it, it'll get brighter. A little brighter. If you got smaller fingers, I don't guess it'd be that big of a deal, but my fat sausage fingers are a little tight getting in there. You can see it gets brighter and brighter. When it gets to the brightest setting, yeah, it'll blink five times. Damn lights are on bugs in here. But, I don't know. We'll check it out, see how well it works out. I don't know if I'd be slamming it into anything to, you know, rack the slide on it. But We'll do a little testing with it, see how it holds up. I'm not going to abuse it by any means. It's, let's say, it's not my gun. We have to give it back to the guy, you know, toward the end of the week. So, trigger, we'll show you. We are clear. Got the little dingus like most striker fire guns. Comes back, hits the wall. It's got a little creep and a pretty clean break. Reset on it is right there. And you can hear the click. So it is audible and it does kind of pop your finger out a little bit once you hit that reset. Uh, trying to think. We gotta do have a short section of pick rail down here on the bottom uh probably the like the olight that pl mini 2 valkyrie i think it would be a good light to put on this gun super lightweight i've got somewhere here maybe yeah here it is i've got my smith and wesson shield and I've got the extended mag in it right now and a TLR6 on it. 
but it's a little bigger. Let me go ahead and put the extended mag in. Get this out of the way. Kind of give you an idea of size. The shield is just a little longer. Let's see. Try and line the back up. Yeah, just a hair longer, not a lot. Thickness, yeah, the Springfield's definitely thicker, especially in the slide. Grip-wise, it's a little thicker, but, I mean, you got a double stack mag. So that is a definite advantage to this, is you get several extra rounds. But it's definitely a lot lighter. Granted, this one is hot and loaded, so it'll have a little more weight to it. But let's load some mags up, take this thing outside, and see what you'll do. All right. First few rounds from the Springfield Hellcat. Just going to try and see how close the red dot is to being on. I'll show you. There you go. Shooting some Winchester steel case at about eh, 10 yards. Held back. Yeah, printing a little to the left, but not bad at all. Make a few adjustments and we'll take a few more shots. We'll shoot down there at some steel. Hang tight. Alright, got it adjust a little bit, also moved the camera up some to where you can actually see the gun going off. You know. But another mag loaded with 13 rounds of the Winchester steel case. Seemed to fire them pretty good, didn't have any issues with them. So. failed to lock back but it did put all the rounds on target let me load up and we'll try again and see if that slide lock was me with my grip or what was causing that grab it okay back got range boy hidden down there to spray the target for me Of course, he uses enough paint to paint that thing like 10 times. Come on, Sparky, hurry up. What? Done. Mm. Okay. Next mag, 13 rounds, same ammo. I believe the slide lock a minute ago was me. I think I was thumb forward and pushing down on the down on it. It locked back that time. 
again, it's making putting a good little group down there at about 20, 25 yards. So not too bad. Oh, range boy. Oh. Go, go. he's doing that i'll load up another five rounds i'm going to slow fire on it and just kind of see how small of a group it can do down there see if i need to make any more adjustments you know up down left right whichever But not too bad. Range boy. Oh, yeah. No, my name is Paint Boy, not Range Boy. Whatever. You don't hurry up, you're going to be Target Boy. It's actually short and smells. Yes, you are. Do what? Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Alright, got five more rounds out of that box. I'm actually going to use the irons on this one, just see how close they are on. Give any indication by the dot, they're way off. Yeah, the iron sights are definitely way off on it. I was aiming center target and it's hitting off to the left edge. We'll go back to the dot. Okay, definitely make a few side adjustments on it, but overall, shoots pretty good. It's a little snappier than, say, my shield. It's, you can definitely feel a little bit more recoil impulse from it, but it does shoot good. I say it's it's smooth. It is definitely snappy though. So, actually, let me grab my shield and load a few rounds in it. Just it's been a while since I've shot it. Just kind of get a perspective and. See what you know, see the differences and stuff in it. So hang tight. All right, show you the Hellcat again. It is actually a little smaller than my shield. How well that's a little bit shorter. It, eh, yeah, it's a little wider, a little thicker. And bottom up. Just a little taller. Grip wise they're about the same. I don't have a mag in either one. But yeah, the shield is a little just a hair longer. So I don't know how much difference that's gonna play in it. Stippling on it I did myself with a uh wood burning kit. Actually came out pretty good. But anyway, let me throw a mag in this real quick and we'll send some rounds with it. Shield definitely recoils less. It's got, it's not as snappy, I guess you could say. It, it still jumps a little bit, but nowhere near as much as the Hellcat. So now, granted, right I do have a little extra weight on the front with the TLR6 from Streamlight, but it doesn't weigh enough to really make a whole lot of difference in recoil. So, but yeah, just, just something to note. It does have a tad bit more recoil in the shield.
All right, got him running down range. Spray the target again. We're gonna move up a little closer, probably about 15 yards. Some more about it here. Fire a few rounds, kind of rapid fire, just see what kind of hits we can get, you know, average distance. Yeah, got them all on target. A little low, but not bad. Not bad. All right, move the camera a little bit. We're going to do a test from the side. Just kind of show you the, see if you can see the impulse of the two guns side by side. All right, Hellcat first. Three rounds with it. Switch pockets. And we'll do three rounds with the shield. And I got a bad habit of riding, riding the slide lock. Alright, this time we're going to try a different angle, let you see some more of the recoil. We're going to do the well, or the, not the Hellcat first. Clip. Empty. Field. Yeah, definitely much less with the shield. Just wanted to give you guys another perspective of it. But anyway, let's take them back in, kind of do final thoughts on them, and see what we think. Stick around. All right, we're going to try from, from concealment with a reload. Not bad. All right, guys. Final thoughts on the Springfield Hellcat. I like the gun. I really do. It say so it's definitely snappier in recoil than the shield, but it's not uncontrollable by any means. I like the red dot on it. Uh, it seems to hold zero. We put about a hundred rounds through it. And, it seems to be doing fine. Uh, I'm say I don't like the fact you got to shove your finger way the hell in here to turn it off. Damn, I just got my finger all printed up on this cleaning mat. But yeah, that's really the only thing I can ding about the sight is you got to shove your finger way the hell up in there to turn the damn thing off. Which I don't know. I guess it's not a bad, you know, a deal breaker or anything. You push hold for two seconds and it goes out. But it will automatically turn itself off after, I want to say it was like two minutes or something like that. But as soon as it senses movement, it kicks back on. So It is pretty neat. Uh, you do have to remove it to replace the battery. It is underneath here. It sits right up here in the front. Not that big a deal. They say it goes right back to zero. But they say it's got like a 20,000 hour battery life on it. So pretty good. But overall, yeah, I think it's a great gun. It's definitely lighter than the shield. A little bit smaller. Will I sell my shield and go buy one of these? No. 
I'm happy with my shield. But that's not knocking this by any means. This is a great gun. You know, we've only got 100 rounds through it. Granted, it was was steel case, so I figured if it was going to have any issues, we'd have had it with that. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to shoot this thing some more throughout the week. Just kind of play around with it some, and if I have any issues, I will definitely update y'all and let you know and try and get some video if we do go back out and shoot some more. So, anyway, y'all have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Later.